In this section, I am going to talk about linear combinations and vector equations. Suppose that we have a vector in a vector space V. We say that it is a linear combination of n other vectors if we can write it in this form. What does this mean? You have your vectors V1, V2, Vn, and you add scalars, An for Vn, A2 for V2, A1 for V1, and so on. And when you add all of them, you will get this vector V. From now on, when I denote a vector in R3, I will always be using this notation instead of writing it as an ordered triple. If I form 3v1 plus v2, so that means 3 times v1, that's my v1, and I add v2, that one, what will I get? So this is 1 and then 3. This is 6 minus 5, we get 1. This vector v here is a linear combination of v1 and v2. Another example, I have these three vectors here. I am now working in the vector space M22, the set of 2 by 2 matrices. And if I form this linear combinations here, this is my V1. My scalar is 1. This is V2, and I multiplied it with the scalar 2. This is my V3, and I multiplied it with negative 1, correct? Because minus V3 is the same as plus negative 1. So we say that this vector V is a linear combination of V1, V2, and V3. We will always be using this term, linear combination, so it's very important that you really understand the meaning of that. If we are given vectors v1, v2 up to vn, and another vector v, we can ask the question of whether this v here can be written as a linear combination of this vi's over here. This is the same as asking whether the vector equation has a solution. We are solving if we can find scalars that we can multiply to v1, v2 up to so for example here, I have my V1 and V2 and my V is 7, 4, negative 3. Is this a linear combination of V1 and V2? What does this question mean? This is the same as asking ourselves whether we can write V as V1 times something and we want to know if we have a value for that, and v2 times a scalar. Let's call that x2. This is our vector equation that we are solving. x1 v1 plus x2 v2 equals v. I just replaced v1 by this one. This is v1, this is v2, and this is my v. Does this one have a solution? Let us write the corresponding system of linear equation. Therefore, this means that x1 plus 2x2 and then negative 2x1 plus 5x2, negative 5x1 plus 6x2, is that the same as 7, 4, negative 3. As a system of linear equations, this means that we will just equate the components, right? Let me just write it here. Let us now form the augmented matrix. What is the augmented matrix? The augmented matrix is Take note that the columns that we obtained here, look at this. 1, negative 2, negative 5 is exactly your V1. 2, 5, 6 is your V2. And the column of constants here is your vector V, the vector that you are testing. 
we want to know whether this system of linear equations has a solution. Correct? So therefore, what will we do with the augmented matrix? We will use row echelon form to solve this system. Here is the corresponding augmented matrix that we obtained a while ago. If we perform row operations to get the reduced row echelon form, we will get the following matrix. Remember that we just want to know whether we have a solution or not. Take note here that even if you have a row of zeros, the point here is that you have no pivot entry in the last column. So this will not lead to any inconsistencies. So actually you can delete this, correct? And take note that we have one, one here. So therefore we have pivots in each column. So what does that mean? In particular, we have exactly one solution. Since this is in reduced row echelon form, we also know that x1 is equal to 3, x2 is equal to 2. So therefore, what is our answer? Yes, we can write v as 3v1, that is our x1, plus 2v2. Now here is a tip for you. My assumption here is that v1, v2, up to vn are vectors in Rn. So they are column matrices. Just like what we did earlier, if you are solving for this vector equation, that means that you are asking yourself whether a given vector is a linear combination of some other vectors. What do you need to do? You just have to form this augmented matrix wherein the columns will be your vectors v1 up to vn. The b here, this is your b, this is your coefficient matrix. This b over here will be the vector that you are testing. In our next lesson, we would see how these linear combinations would play an important role as we discuss certain topics like spanning sets and linear independence.